So I just took back, you saw, I just took back uh, the girls are all so nice here to one of the branches of my library and they actually didn't have the book I was looking for here or any of the books on my Goodreads list. So, but, but I did see that they had one of those take and make kits. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I mentioned it before. I think uh, I got the kiddo, the babysitter's club one, but check this out. This one is a home gardening kit like a grow your own greens kit, just free, free. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't checked out your local library, I hope that they do things like this for you all. Check it out. See if they have programs like this, especially if you have kids. I can't say enough good things about the library in my area. I think it's awesome. And you know what's fun? There's a new branch next to my new house that I haven't been to yet. <laughs> Coming soon to a vlog near you. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to head up to another branch because I think, I tried to check out the website uh, between classes this morning, and I think they have one of the books on my list. I'll see you there. <coughs> Saw it. We got Certain Dark Things by Silvia Moreno-Garcia. It's a vampire book. I'm excited. It's on my list on Goodreads. Go give me a follow and you can see the rest of them. Hey guys, so I just got done filming my review for The Girls Are Also Nice Here, and I this isn't a check-in, but I have some goodies that I got from Etsy for the panic room that I wanted to share with you guys because I'm super excited. First off, have you ever watched What We Do in the Shadows? Not the movie, the show. I'm obsessed. It's one of my favorite shows. So if you haven't watched that, some of these probably won't be very funny to you, <laughs> but I'm going to show you anyway because you should go check it out because it's hilarious. Let me put you down so I can have both hands. Un momento. All right, so first off, uh, not a what we do in the shadows thing. I found this. How cool is that? It was only like eight bucks and it's, it's metal. It's really well done. Uh, I will try to remember to put the Etsy shops that I got this from down below. Very cool, very good quality. But yeah, I'm gonna put this probably on the bulletin board in here. I'm so excited. And then the What We Do in the Shadows stuff. So she sent me a, it's their stickers. And she sent me this, which is just a bat. And it was an extra sticker because, okay. There are three characters, Naja, Nandor, and Laszlo. And yeah, I know, I know this isn't funny if you've never seen the show, but whenever he turns into a bat, he screams, bat, which is funny to me because that's, that's my kind of humor. But then Nandor, and I know this isn't going to seem funny, but Nandor is like a vampire. He's from like the Arabic region of the world back in, Lord, medieval times, before medieval times, I don't know. But he's like this six foot something, big hulking warrior dude. And the whole premise of the show is like they don't know kind of modern life. So at this, and without going into a ton of detail, he is shopping for this like party thing. And he wants to get party supplies. And he, he wants this. Yeah. And you and I both know this is called crepe paper, right? Now, maybe my accent is making it sound weird, but you know what I'm talking about. Except he calls it creepy paper. <laughs> so creepy paper. I laughed. I was crying. I was laughing so hard. If you've never seen this show, you really should. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Maybe this is a haul. Is this my first haul in the panic room? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so here with the 100 page check-in for certain dark things. You know, I noticed on the cover of the book it said that this was a gritty vampire noir, and I have to agree. I am loving just the overall vibe of this book. I can, I can really feel just the setting. Mexico City, the, the gangs, the subterfuge, is that the right word? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really loving, loving 
this whole setting and scene that we have going on. You know, we have a couple of different viewpoints happening so far in the book, and my favorite so far is Domingo. He is our, I think they said he's 17 human. He's my favorite so far, as far as viewpoints go. Who knows, that might change. But lots of exciting things happening today. Uh, I think I put the clip in here already, but we're painting today. Ah, I don't know if we'll get to the panic room. We might be going downstairs. Uh, boyfriend found a paint sprayer on Craigslist for like super cheap. So we're hoping it makes quick work of it, but uh, I'm so excited to get rid of these blue walls in here. <laughs> but I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Okay, not a book check-in, but an office check-in. <laughs> check out the new panic room. Who knew it was gonna be green? <laughs> so guys, nothing to show you but bare ass painted walls. And this, just me looking amazing. I'm sorry it's so dark in here. Um, I do not know, comment down below. What do you think about people who make a room and don't make a light in there? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, you can't see it. There's a fan, but no freaking light in it. <laughs> right? Look, I've got paint on me. Woo, looking amazing for the interwebs today. So yeah, I have two green walls and then two, hold on, let's get over there. I, again, I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, but I also have two, what they called mushroom walls. Yeah, it is raining outside. That's probably adding to the darkness. But yeah, I am super stoked. Probably a little high on paint fumes, but that's okay. <laughs> and actually, I have been spending my time in here trying to catch up on all of the amazing booktubers that I've discovered. And you'll have to, if you're watching this, any of you, all of you, <laughs> you'll have to apologize if I didn't like all your videos because I didn't want to get paint all over my phone. My tripod for this camera I'm less concerned about. Um, but yeah, just know I, I did give you the view. I just might not have been able to hit like. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll try and go back and do that. But yeah, so just wanted to, to share that with you all. Still some touching up to do here and there, but uh, had some really shitty news happen this morning. Uh, I think I mentioned it on a previous vlog, but yeah, uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be employed with my curtain, curtain, with my current ESL company. Lots of changes happening, and uh, let's just say I shed my tears this morning. Um, not for the job, for my kids. Uh, there are some children that I have had for the past three years that I may never see again, and I'm super not happy. So I kind of threw myself into the office because you know what? I'm a big believer in taking something bad and trying to get something good out of it. So I thought I would channel all my anger <laughs> into painting these walls. And it made me happy to see this room coming together and to share it with you all. So yeah, so getting closer to the new panic room every day. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for hanging out here. And I promise I'll have an update soon. I plan on taking a shower and settling in for at least a few more pages of our vampire noir novel and certain dark things because I'm loving that world. And I need some escapism now more than ever. Who's with me? <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys later. Do you ever come upon something in your daily life and you just, you know that this is not who you are? <laughs> I'm trying to put my best together. Wish me luck. <laughs> I, I can read directions, but we'll see. We'll see. So before... Righty tidy, lefty loosey. That's the best advice I have for putting home shit together. <laughs> I think I'm getting one. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I can do it. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I can do it. I'm an adult. Anyone want to take bets on how long this lasts the second I put my computer on it? 
<laughs> Place your bets now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's secure. We have a leg! This jury's still out on how well it's gonna hold. But we have a leg! This whole time I've been hand turning these little shits to put these bars together. I look down and see this. I told y'all, I'm not a technical person. Thank God these are put together with like the ABCs. It's like A goes into B and I'm like, hmm, I can do that. Except they failed to mention that the tool was five. So we have the frame, but there's one screw left. I've combed the directions. I don't see where I'm missing one and I don't see where it says there's an extra. I feel like I messed up somewhere. It seems pretty good though. I'm still, why? Why was this in bag number five? This is what you have to use to put the whole little shit together. Why was this in, not in bag one? Why wasn't this in a bag that said, hey, idiot, start here? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna put the top of the desk on. And then, and then there is a storage cube assembly, which, the storage cube is literally just like this piece of cloth that hangs on the side. I feel like I can do that. Watch that be the hardest part. Anyway, you know what? I will show you the finished product if I do it before my next birthday. <laughs> all right guys, so here it is in all of its glory. And while I know I made a lot of jokes, uh, this actually was not terribly hard to put together. It only took me about 20 minutes. Uh, there was this part. And it's just this little like pocket. I know the lighting in here is awful. I'm so sorry. But it's just this little pocket. And I think it's supposed to hang on the side here. Matter of fact, I know it does. But I, I just feel like this was going to be in the way. So I did not put this on. It's just not a necessity for me. So yeah, I think we're good. I'm excited. It fits perfectly in here. So now if I can just get the freaking chair. <laughs> Hey guys, 150 page check-in for certain dark things. <sighs> I feel like it's taking me a while to get through this book, mostly because I'm having to read like early in the mornings between classes and then at night because the day has just been filled with nothing but painting and flooring <laughs> and other things. <laughs> But you know what? I love, I love this setting. Probably top three, my favorite settings of any book we've read so far. But that is because I love all things like noir-esque. I love film, all of that. Uh, I guess the best way I can think to describe it is I can see parts of this book happening in black and white. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and like you can hear that, that like, I don't know, slow jazz as like background music. <laughs> I'm probably rambling. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Adel, our main character, I hope I'm saying that right. Her name is ATL. I think it's Adel. That is actually another thing I'm really liking about this book. Not only are we getting a lot of like Mexican and Spanish culture, we are getting a lot of history, specifically with the Aztecs, which I love. I love that tie into history. It's a kind of a part of vampire lore that I think she had a lot of fun with writing this book. So I'm loving that. And it also is tying into my want to learn Spanish. <laughs> if you've been watching some of my other vlogs, you know that a lot has come up with my job recently uh, with new political things and I'm not even going to get into it, <laughs> but I have found myself now employed with a company in Latin America and I want to brush up on my Spanish. I speak about this much <laughs> and I want to do better. I want to do better because I feel like I can, well it's twofold, I can serve my students better if I can speak more Spanish and I can understand their perspective if I myself am a language student. You know, so, and plus it interests me. It really interests me. I want to learn other languages. I would, I'd love to learn a ton of languages. I probably don't have enough life left to learn everything that I want to learn. Uh, but yeah, so this book sort of like 
gives me even a boost in that area too, you know? So, because there's a lot of, I don't think even, I mean, they are and they're not. I don't think they're really Spanish words. I think they are words from the Aztec culture. And there's only two words that I know. <laughs> and this is just from history in high school. And that's Tenochtitlan and uh, Quetzalcoatl. And that's about the extent of my um, Spanish Native American ability to speak. So I am learning a ton and it is awesome. So if, if that alone interests you and you like vampires, you're going to love this. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I'll see you guys in another 50 pages. Bye for now. Hey guys, welcome to 200 page check it. Before I say anything, I want to show you the two comics that I have read these past two days as well. Let's go in here. Oh yeah, I've also been painting. Check this out. Look, the ceilings are too big right here for me to reach. So yeah, I've pretty much painted almost two floors of this house, but I can't reach here. So we're waiting on uh, the boyfriend's friend to get us a ladder. Anyway, let's go in here with some better light. Yes, that's better. And I'll show you two of the comics. You probably saw a little blurb of when we went to free comic book day. And I got quite a few. There were some wonderful comics there actually. And I bought a few because it's like a... I don't want to say mom and pop, they don't seem old enough to be mom and pop, but they it's a, a privately owned little comic book store. Super nice husband and wife. And you know, I wanted to support them, I didn't want to just go in there and like grab all the freak shit and run out. Um, so I bought two comics of The Conjuring, which just the artwork alone was enough. <laughs> and I talked to him, you know, I was like, dude, I used to be into horror comics a hundred thousand years ago where should I start now? And he gave me a ton of recommendations, so I was super happy with that. He was very knowledgeable. But I want to show you two. One is not going to be a surprise. We'll start there. Who's surprised? No one. If you watched my unboxing, you know I'm a big uh, Avatar The Last Airbender fan. Um, but the next one was... Tresse. Anyone else look at this and say Therese? In my brain, that looks nothing like Therese. In my brain, I look at that and say Tre and say Therese. And it's not, it couldn't be further from it. It's Tresse. Um, but you'll notice down here in the corner, that's why I picked it up. Because I saw, I was like, this is that one that's on Netflix. And I had opened it up because it looked kind of dark and gritty and like read the little blurb on Netflix. And then when I saw this, I was like, hell yeah. And hold on, let me flip you around and we'll just, we'll just flip through it together. So yeah, I'm not giving anything away here. Obviously you don't, you don't know the story, but there's our girl, there's Tresse. Yeah, so it's a Filipino comic. And I mean, just, I love, just check that out. Very good. You know, and getting back to the whole reason we're freaking here, the book where, you know, certain dark things, this is what I was picturing for Adel, our main vampire. Yeah, that, that is what I'm picturing. The dark hair, the intense eyes, everything. This is very close to what I had in my head for Adel in certain dark things. But yeah, just, just take it in for a second. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, 200 page check-in. So I will say that I feel like we are starting to get a little bit more history on Adel, which I am super excited for because our, the majority of our story is told going back and forth between the narco vampires and Domingo, who is, for lack of a better way to put it, Adel's familiar. Although I love this, in this world they call them Renfields. So yeah, it's actually a really good, I have to give it up for this book, it's actually a very good combination of new vampire versus like Bram Stoker-esque vampire lore. Because, you know, like I said, they call them Renfields, but that is pretty much where the similarities end. <laughs> I don't want to go too far into it, you know. No spoilers here in the vlog, right? We saved that for the review. But I'm I'm wanting more backstory. I want more about Adel. I want more about her life and 
her vampire clan, which I feel like none of you are going to be shocked about this because you know me, I like a world building. You know, and I want to, I always want to know more. Always, always want to know more about our characters, about where they come from, why they do what they do. I just do. So it's not a gripe. I just hope that's the direction we're heading in. I feel like it is. I guess we'll see. I'll see you in another 50 pages. Bye for now. Hey guys, 250 page check-in for a certain dark things. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I feel like we are barreling towards the end. I know I've said that about a few books. I really hope we get a little bit more about this detective character, Anna. She's an interesting one. She really is. I find myself really enjoying her chapters, you know? I feel like we have a bit of a way to go, though, and I don't... Let's say I hope that they don't rush this ending. Like, I hope we don't just get some rock 'em sock 'em fight and that be it. Because there, there's too much history and too much world for that to happen. I really hope that's not what we're heading towards. But I know there's going to be a face-off. I know there is. Anyway, it's been a weird day. Uh, my chair never got here from Amazon, so I'm waiting on the refund for that. But yeah, it's, uh, if you didn't see, it's all nice and together. Isn't that cool? I love the color. Anyway, boyfriend's about to be home soon. Kiddo's second day of school today, so she's downstairs. We're waiting on her to get picked up, and I guess I will go start dinner. Maybe read some more. i got to teach tonight, so I guess I'll see you guys maybe at the end of the book, because I think it's only a little bit over... I'm pretty sure to be the end of the book. It's only a little over 300 pages. So I will see you guys when we finish. Bye for now. So guys, we did it. We finished certain dark things. You know, this is going to be a very interesting review. And I'll tell you why. I don't feel like this book would get high marks from a lot of people. Hear me out. There were parts of the book that I feel like were a little rushed. And I will elaborate on that in the review. But overall, I love the world. Now, maybe I'm a little biased. You guys know if you've watched my other videos that I absolutely love interesting world building. Um, and this was probably both my favorite and least favorite thing in this book. Again, I will elaborate. You'll have to tune in for the review. I really feel like people would just give this book hell for not giving enough time to certain parts of the story. Yeah, I can, I can see that. However, I will say, as a lover of, like, noir and, like, vampires in general, really, I enjoyed the book. I think it was an easy read, and I feel like it has the potential to be, like, a jumping off point for a really awesome world. So, anyway, guys, thanks for coming along. We actually have some fun to do today. We're going to go to this, like, water park thing, courtesy of my local library, you know, Support your local library, people. There's lots of free stuff there. You know, if you're looking for a way to entertain the kiddos, I highly recommend. <laughs> so we're supposed to be doing that today as long as the weather holds out. So, and I actually have some really fun stuff coming up. So stay tuned. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for hanging around. And uh, please like and subscribe. You know, it'll really help me out. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.